nighttime departure of Soviet Premier Khrushchev with Vice President Nixon, Mrs. Nixon, and Secretary Herter participating in farewell ceremonies at Andrews Air Force Base. The end of his historic 13-day visit brings these farewell words by Mr. K. From the bottom of my heart, I want to express my gratitude for your kind hospitality, for your bread and salt, as they say in our country. I hope that in uh, the relationships between our two countries, we will be able to use uh, more and more often uh, the good short American word, okay, uh, until we meet again, friends. The Khrushchev mission to Washington is ended, but the moral and political effects linger on. The next day at his news conference, President Eisenhower is ready to pull the wraps off some of his secret deliberations with the Soviet Premier. He tells newsmen the talks had erased the red deadline on Berlin and that his personal conditions for holding a summit conference have been met. He has this word for the nation. Now, if any of this has been done again, it's due to the American people. And I make a special account, uh, uh, acknowledgement to the mayors, the governors, the local officials who carried so much of the responsibility for making these visits uh, possible. I invited Mr. Kirchhoff, as you know, to come here so that we might have a chance to discuss some of the obvious reasons for tensions that be in the world, and particularly between our own, our two countries, because of the, of the outstanding uh, unsettled matters. I did not ask him here for substantive negotiations, because that, those are impossible uh, without the presence of our associates. But I thought, that uh, through this visit of his and through these conversations, possibly, I think as I've said to you before, some of the ice might be melted. 